On the island of Sulgar, if you are to visit Knapwood Station, you will find the station by that. Ah, he's a great Western Indian and proud of it. Thought he works hard and makes things go like clockwork. Duck's main job is to shut coaches and traps for the Gangans. However, he always boasts about his great Western heritage, much to the annoyance of the other Indians. There are two ways of doing things. The great Western way is the wrong way. And great Western is... Don't we know, know it? Is it just me, you two? Or has Duck become even more unbearable recently? Tell me about it. At least when Percy was the pilot here, we didn't have to constantly hear about the Great Western Way. Something needs to be done about this. But what? The three of Jacks wouldn't have to wonder for long. One day, and a diesel on the other railway ride on Soda. He stopped on the turntable outside the sheds. The fat controller hopped out his cab and introduced him. Here is Diesel. He is a class eight shunter. I've agreed to give him a trial. Good morning. Pleased to meet you, fine engines. Is that James? And Henry? And Gordon too. I am delighted to meet such fine and famous engines. The three big engineers were flattered. Duck on the other hand felt him easy. After all, Diesel's class had replaced his class back on the other railway. Duck, you'll be working with Diesel in the yard so he can learn the ropes. Ah oh, yes, the yards. Excuse me, you three. After all, there's work to be done. I say to you, for a diesel this newcomer is well mannered. Agreed. We are pleased to have him in our yards. I say Doug, your worthy fan, the car can have to you. Your worthy Sir Topham hat thinks I need to learn. He is mistaken. We diesels don't need to learn. We know everything. We come to a yard and improve it. We are revolutionary. Oh, if you are ever thingy, perhaps you can collect my trucks while I fetch Gordon's culture. Challenge accepted. And with it, the two engineers went off to do their work. something. With that new age shunter from the mainland, he's just like all the other persons. Just earlier he was bragging about being revo, revo, revolutionary. Yeah, that word. Don't think much about it, Duck. After all, so long as there's a member of the Hat family in charge, we will never be scrapped. That made Duck feel better. Just then, the yard foreman came to see him. Duck, Diesel has run into some trouble. Go and help him. Yes, sir. Goodbye, Edward. See you again, Duck. When Duck returned, he saw Diesel trying to take some trucks from a siding. They were old and empty. They had not been touched for a long time. Diesel was struggling to move them. Oh, gosh! Backwards! Close! Ow, oh, ow, oh, ow! Oh. Oh.
Duck ran round to collect the other trucks. Thank you for ringing these deeds out. I must go now. Don't you want this lot? No, thank you. And I've taken all this trouble. Why didn't you tell me? You never asked besides. You were having such fun being re whatever it was you said. Goodbye. <laughs> Diesel had to help the workmen clear the mess. He hated it. Suddenly the trucks began to sing. The song grew louder and louder. I'll get you for this, Doc. 